In this video we will talk about Mesothelioma Cancer Cure Treatment. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when we upload new videos daily. Mesothelioma Cancer Cure Treatment If you or someone you love is suffering from mesothelioma, want to get relief of it here is the accurate way. Have you lost hope of getting cured with it? Don't get disheartened here we prop up you and treat with the natural supplements with no side effects. Mesothelioma also called asbestos lung cancer, is a disease that causes the deadly tumors to develop in the chest and lung cavity. This site is intended to guide as originality in treating this deadly cancer. Mesothelioma, cancer of the mesothelium, is a disease in which cells of the mesothelium become abnormal and divide without control or order. They can invade and damage nearby tissues and organs. Cancer cells can also metastasize spread, from their original site to other parts of the body. It is a rare disease caused as a result of malignant cancerous cells lining the patient's body cavities such as chest, abdominal region or the area surrounding the heart. This disease is very difficult to assess consistently due to the great variability in time before diagnosis and the rate of progression of malignant mesothelioma. Even insignificant exposure to asbestos, commonly reported in such work environments as asbestos mills, mines, shipping yards, some older navy ships or patients' homes, is known to result in mesothelioma, which in many cases does not occur for decades after initial exposure to this cancer-causing substance. It is also known that family members of workers exposed to asbestos can contract this disease through exposure to the worker's clothing. Smoking greatly increases the risk of contracting mesothelioma. Some of the earliest symptoms of mesothelioma can often be mistaken for less serious illness and are commonly overlooked. Some patients do not show any signs of sickness in the early stages of development of the disease. Most commonly the symptoms include dyspnea, pleurisy pain, lasting cough, fatigue, and weight loss. This disease is more common in men. Most cases of mesothelioma occur 30 to 45 years after initial exposure to asbestos. Once it develops, this cancer will continue to grow until it is treated. It is very important that the disease is diagnosed and treated as early as possible. Working with asbestos is the major risk factor for mesothelioma. A history of asbestos exposure at work is reported in about 70% to 80% of all cases. However, Mesothelioma has been reported in some individuals without any known exposure to asbestos. If tiny asbestos particles float in the air, especially during the manufacturing process, they may be inhaled or swallowed, and can cause serious health problems. In addition to mesothelioma, exposure to asbestos increases the risk of lung cancer, asbestosis a non-cancerous, chronic lung ailment, and other cancers, such as those of the larynx and kidney. Mesothelioma is a malignant disease that can affect the lining of any internal organ. Most often the pleural lining of the lungs and or the peritoneal lining of the organs in the abdominal cavity are affected. The pleural lining of the lungs is affected when harmful amounts of asbestos are inhaled. When symptoms do develop they may include difficulty breathing, chest pain, and a chronic cough. The faster you consult the doctor and get specialized care the better your chances will be of dealing with this hazardous cancer. Please contact our doctor as soon as possible to get more information and cure the disease. Many cancer treatment options are not very effective in treating mesothelioma. 
But at our center we provide you the treatment to reduce the disease and free you from the suffering from our specialist with the medication which are natural and no side effects. Although reported incidence rates have increased in the past 20 years, mesothelioma is still a relatively rare cancer. Mesothelioma occurs more often in men than in women and risk increases with age, but this disease can appear in either men or women at any age. Smoking does not appear to increase the risk of mesothelioma. However, the combination of smoking and asbestos exposure significantly increases a person's risk of developing cancer of the air passageways in the lung. People who work with asbestos wear personal protective equipment to lower their risk of exposure. Treatment for mesothelioma depends on the location of the cancer, the stage of the disease, and the patient's age and general health. Sometimes, these treatments are combined. Warning: None of the information on our videos is a substitute for a diagnosis and treatment by your health professional.